Now, the Queen has been seen for the first time in more than a month for an event celebrating two of her great-grandchildren. In a royal first, uh, Princess Eugenie's son, August, and Zara Tyndall's son, Lucas, were christened together in Windsor. Her Majesty put her health battles behind her, getting clearance from her personal doctor to attend. Oh, how nice is this? Yeah. Royal editor Rob Jobson joined us now. Uh, Jobbo, is this a sign the Queen's health has significantly improved? I don't know about that, Koshi. I mean, she hasn't really left Windsor for some time now. It's only a short drive um, down the road to the chapel, so I'm sure it was with her capabilities to do that. She'd be sitting down during the service. So I think that she's um, clearly been under the... under. Um, you know, not that well over the last month or so, but the fact that she's gone out and attended the the event and it's been paced very well for her, it, it seems to be working for her, yeah. I, I'm, but I don't think she's actually ill. She's just told not to be too strenuous in what she's doing, too many long events. Right, because this is a really rare event, isn't it? A double baptism. Yeah. Well, it's never happened before. So, I mean, I, I suppose you get two for the price of one. They, <laughs> they try to get the, as much of, uh, for the Queen. You know, I suppose that what it was here is that they, they, the Queen wouldn't want to uh, pick a favourite great-grandchild so that if they, if they want the Queen there, they're going to have to get on with it and put them together, which makes total sense to me because her time is limited. Yeah. Um, so this was a double. Um, could it have been a triple with Lila Bet <laughs> from Harry and, and Meghan? Well, were they asked to be included? Uh, um, uh, it's a very difficult one to answer. I mean, it could have been. It could have been a triple if they if they decided to come over and and uh, put everything aside. But I think a lot of water has gone under that bridge, and uh, we'll have to wait and see if that happens. I can't see the baptism of Lily Bet happening in the United in the United Kingdom. It's a bit of a shame, um, but you know, I think that they've made their bed and their lying in it, and that's the way they're going to carry on. Oh, see, I thought they were demanding a royal christening somewhere along the line. They can demand all they like, really, <laughs> to be honest, but it's whether or not the Queen is going to be around. I, don't know, they would, I think that it's, it's difficult at the moment um, with what's gone on with all the, 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 the claims and counterclaims that have been going on right. and the threat oh, of a new book that's coming up. I can't, I can't see that happening, but, you know, uh, who knows, in the next... Uh, Six months or so with the with the um, Queen's 70th celebrations coming up next year. Hopefully there'll be some sort of rapprochement. Right, mm. so the old Oprah interview may have put the kibosh on that. Yeah. <laughs> right, thank you, Jumbo.